Okay. This video is going to probably be kind of long, considering what I've got to do. I'm going to go ahead and assume you know how to get your eBoot for your original game off of Sony's website. If you don't, go back to the Zets tutorial and it will tell you how to do it. Anyway, assuming you know how to do that, here's what I have. In my fake NP folder, I have my PSN.PBB, which, not PBP, excuse me, which I renamed to that from my original eBoot. That's my one that I got off of the Sony website for Numblast. That's the game I'm using. Okay, I have downloaded the TNV Bubble Loader and the TNV P-Boot. Okay, so what we're going to do is extract the bubble loader. You're going to take your TNV ISO file and you're going to drop it in there with that. Alright. Once it's in there, you're going to hold down shift and right click and you get open command window. Click that. Inside there, you're going to type fake underscore np dot exe space, then a dash b for the base. Since mine is named PSN, I'm going to do PSN dot pbp, then your ISO, which is tnv dot ISO and then your output file which I usually name eboot2.pbp then hit enter and it should run it there you go you're done now you have eboot2 right there so there's your eboot Make a folder up here right quick. You come. Sorry, this is kind of shaky. Now drag that e boot and drop it right there into that folder. You're done with that. Now, there's your PBP file. TNV.pboot, I'm sorry, TNVPboot.pbp. Okay, you're going to need a hex editor. Mine automatically opens in HXD. Right down here, you see it says UCES01177. Well, my game, being Numblast, right there is NPUG80320. So I'm going to go right here. and change this to NP UG 80320 save it and you're good now It always creates a backup. Mine does anyway. I'm going to rename it to pboot2.pbp. I'm going to take that and put it in that folder. Now, you also have this ECFW folder you're gonna need it. What you need to do is take that folder, I'm not gonna do it because it just take too long, and put it in your save data folder on your Vita just like you would if you were doing an exploit game. You just need to put it in there wherever your Vita goes and make sure you get that into your save data. And that's all you gotta do with it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close all this. Just 
So the only thing you need in this folder is your e-boot and your p-boot. Okay. Now, going to my Vita. Turn off flight mode. Turn on Wi-Fi. Now I have FTP in a bubble. If you have it on your TNV, you can lo lo launch it just the same. But you're going to want to launch TNV. I'm sorry, FTP. And I use FileZilla. Going to launch it. Now, once this starts which it has. I'm going to actually have to change this because I have two Vitas running on the same account. But anyway, there. Then I'm going to connect. And there we go. You're going to go to your PSP folder. I renamed mine to PSP2. Doesn't really matter. The F5 key will refresh just to make sure the renaming took. Open up that folder. Go to your game folder. And I'm going to be using this one NPUG 80 cl one it's a clone folder. You should know how to clone files. If you don't know how to clone games, once again, read, watch the Zets tutorial. So, I'm going to rename this and put an and at the end of it. Refresh and it stayed. Now, I'm going to go all the way back up here to the top. I'm going to right click right here, create directory. It already goes to the game folder, so I'm going to do npug 80cl1. So now, as you can see, if I get down to it, I have an NPUG80CL1, which I just made, that's empty, an NPUG80CL1 and, that has the original game in it. Okay. You're going to want to open up the folder without the and, it being empty. You're going to grab your eBoot. Trying to do this one. One hand is not easy. Drag it and drop it. There you go. It's in there. Hit F5. Whoop. Make sure you click in there. And it refreshed. Now, I'm going to rename it to eboot dot pbp dot dot. Hit enter. Okay, now hit F5 and refresh, and there you go, you have eboot.pbp. Now, we're going to go back up, and we're going to go into the CL1 and folder, the one with the original game. There's your original eboot right there. Now, you're going to take your pboot that you changed, and you're going to grab it drag it and drop it right there there it is f5 to refresh after i click in there because i always forget and there it is now you're going to do the same thing you did with the eboot you're going to rename it to pboot dot pbp dot dot hit enter F5 to refresh, and there's your P-boot. Now, very important. 
trust me, you do not want to forget this. You need to go back to your root folder, to your PSP, and make sure you rename it back to PSP. I always refresh just to make sure, and there it is, PSP. Now, you go over to your Vita, hit square, stops FTP. I'm going to close my FileZilla. Now, I always do this just in case I have to do something. I turn Wi-Fi off and flight mode back on. Then you're going to want to power it off. Now it's powered off. I'm going to have to put the camera down to do this, but you hold down the PlayStation button, your power button, and the right trigger all at the same time. If I can get this to stand up, I'll show you. There we go. Okay. Or PlayStation button, power button. Okay, am I missing my power button? Yep, okay. Now, you'll come back up to here. You have to use your D-pad. Go to Rebuild Database. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Yes. It should power off and power back on. There you go. will rebuild the database. Yours may take shorter and yours may be longer. I have a cold. This sucks. There we go. It's done. Now, open your thing up. If you had any folders, they will be gone. Everything will be on the screen now. Keep going. And there is my TNV launcher. Tap it. Green screen, straight into TNV. There you go. Right into TNV. Thanks for watching my video, guys.